Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome. Which color should I do? What do you mean? Oh, for your own hair? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to ask me anything about those kind of choices like that. That's not something I'm very good at. Do these look like colors I would do? That looks like something you might do. That looks a little too... They both look a little too tame for what you've been doing lately, though. <laughs> I'm knee deep in hair color here. Yeah, Candace is work over here working on uh, hair color lots, whatnot. She's working her way through the uh, coupon or buy. I've been working on other stuff as far as listing goes. Um, so we, we we like to put up a nice variety of stuff on eBay if we can. Um, like we don't want to put up all hair colors. She'll do that and then I'll do like garage sale -y type items. Or she's doing uh, action figures and I'm doing books or you know whatever. So uh, this channel is all about selling on eBay. Buying stuff to sell on eBay and selling on eBay. And if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider hitting subscribe down below. It's currently Tuesday morning for us, not for you. Um, and we have, I think, 11 orders that I need to pull this morning. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we sold yesterday. It is a mess in here. This aisle is fairly clear. <laughs> this aisle has lots and lots of stuff in it. <laughs> We're doing, and we have stuff up here. Doing the best we can right now. Uh, seven Charlie C17. That must squeeze up behind you. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Candace might be going to see our HR person after that little incident. Let's see. Seven C. It's a pair of gloves. Wasn't sure if it was in this one or the other one. Must be the other one. Oh, no, I see them. This pair of Barbie gloves right here. Look at that little guy. 17 that's the right one that sold for was it 20 bucks no 18 17.99 plus shipping on top uh for that that is going overseas look at that this this barbie clothes stuff never never ceases to amaze me at least not yet sold some more audiobooks these have been going really well sold lot i right here there are 13 different audiobooks in here and these sold for $45.50 plus shipping on top. I paid, um, if y'all didn't catch the video where we talked about buying these, uh, we bought a hundred and I think a little over 140 audiobooks for a quarter a piece and selling them for in most cases $350 a piece and lots of around 10 to 13 10 to 14 audiobooks typically. Okay, Guy Drawer sold a Jawa with a blaster. That's a Jawa with a blaster. Just scan and make sure there's no other Jawas in here. I don't think there are. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping on top. Okay, five Bravo. I have a little thing I like to do where we buy books. Uh, if I can find... If I can find a, like a, a lot of books that are in the same series or by the same author and they're cheap, I'll pick those up. That's what we did here. Uh, Puppy Place. Candace, you remember buying these books? Do you remember? Yeah, we just bought them like two weeks ago. How much did we pay for them? Do you remember? It doesn't really matter, but I mean, this. Like a couple of bucks. Uh, like two bucks, maybe. Yeah. Um, uh, $14.99 plus shipping on top for those. Then I thought we sold a steering wheel, but we didn't. We actually sold, it's this adapter thing that's supposed to be on this shelf right here. Let's see. Ah, here we go. <laughs> they are, they're in here. $31.96, that's the one I need. Um, bought steering wheels in Tennessee quite a while back now and uh the steering wheels paid i can't i think it was what 15 a piece can or something like that mm -hmm. but the guy threw in these adapter kits too i had like four adapter kits this one sold for 30 bucks so that was a nice little throw in 
All right, sold lot H here of audiobooks. This sold for $41.99 plus shipping on top. This is uh, 12 books in here. Oh, that's okay. Candace over there burning off some price tags. All right, I found uh, yesterday when I was listing a few of these starting lineups, came across a few that are more valuable. Ah, here it is. It's behind the hair dye. <laughs> this Michael Jordan starting lineup here sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. Sold two more too. Have a five Bravo right here. It's another Michael Jordan with the acrylic case. And then on seven Bravo, we have one more. This guy right here, also in an acrylic case. And these all come with cards. I think one of them has a coin with it. So this total order came up to $154 plus shipping on top. So not all starting lineups are low value. Okay, we sold some uh, board games from that couponer lot, Eight Echo. Bundled, Candace bundled some of them up. Let's see, Eight Echo, yeah, right here. Oh, that's nice, put a rubber band on them. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Then 10 Foxtrot. Candace, did you grab the lot on 10 Foxtrot? It's got Blockus or Blocus. Wheel of Fortune and something else. Yeah, those. Thank you. Another one for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Sold a lot of three card games here for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Guess Who, Clue, and Battleship. Seven Delta sold a Captain Marvel. There she is right here. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. Then in the chest drawer, Candace, if you'll grab one, another one for me. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Candace slinging that dye. That's pretty fitting for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All the hair dye you've put in your hair. Chess sold a Shikla. I'm saying that right. Here she is right here. She sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. And in the D&D &D drawer, sold this guy. First thing I looked at. Uh, this is Left Ticket. Vintage G.I. Joe Fig. Sold for $9.99. Okay, from 10 Foxtrot. Sold a Rock'em Sock'em robot game. There it is. Oh, really having to put stuff everywhere at this point. $12.99 plus shipping on top for this guy. And went ahead and pulled this guy, uh, Dennis Rodman, with the yellow or blonde hair in this one. This sold for $8.99 or $9.99, one of the two. And one more thing, sold one of these lighted sight pens for $6.99 plus shipping on top. And that is everything. All right, Candice, let's do a few questions. Okay. <laughs> we pulled up three questions here. And I already answered one. It, it My answer was like 20 minutes long. So I was like, you know what? That's too long. I'm going to reshoot this. <laughs> so let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> the first question is from The Sandlot. Hey, Lonnie. For someone getting into YouTube to compliment their reselling, what would be some of your best practices to make a successful channel? Thanks, Chris. Okay, so I'll give you a few things, a few little things that I know. Um, got a pretty good bit of experience. Definitely not the biggest YouTuber, that's for sure. Um, but I have learned a few things along the way. So number one is, um, I'm not going to tell you, like get too far into detail about what kind of videos you should make and things like that, because I think you should figure that out for yourself. I think if you could do, I'll make that the first one then. If you can find some angle about reselling 
about this channel some some angle that other people aren't doing if you can do something different to stand out i think that's important um it's a copycat type of community here uh reselling like a lot of people are doing the same kind of videos if you look like there's a there's a ton of garage sale footage videos there's a ton of order pulling videos things like that like they're which makes sense because that's what we do, right? Like we're, we're buying stuff, we're selling stuff. So it makes sense. But if you can find some other way to tell that story that hasn't already been done, uh, then I would do that. <laughs> Another thing I would recommend is to be consistent, whether that be video a day, video a week, two videos a week, two videos a month, whatever it is, be consistent with how you upload. Also, um, if you're just starting, you're going to have to be patient because if, if you've never done it before, chances are you're probably going to suck at it. You're either going to suck at the delivery uh, whenever you're talking to the camera. If you don't have practice on uh, doing that, you might suck editing. You might talk too long. You might not talk enough. You might say, um, 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 too much. I know I do it a lot still, uh, but you're going to suck at first. So you're going to have to probably go through at least six months where it's going to be a struggle but you're going to learn so like when you suck you're you have a lot of room to to get better so just give yourself time be patient don't expect results if you can consistently do something that's where that's where you can win in the youtube game uh potentially win anyways is if you keep going even when it gets hard or or you're not like necessarily you might be right on the edge of a, making a breakthrough and a lot of people will quit before they make that breakthrough so if you can make it through the hard times to get to the breakthrough then it's smooth sailing it's a lot of fun so best of luck to you though that, that's all I have um, as far as that goes and I, I don't know that much I'm still learning all the time all right the next question is from Elizabeth Chason 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 she might be from around here yep since you're making regular vids again, does that mean the camper broke? <laughs> <laughs> I watched you every day when you posted every day. It was great. Then you burned out, I guess. I would have and decided to go camping all the time. <laughs> that's a, That sounds pretty accurate so far. Then you lost most of your viewers, it seems, and trying to get some back. I don't know about that part. That is why you intro yourselves in the beginning of every video. You'll build a following again. Go Tigers. Yeah. Well, that 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 comment took a turn <laughs> it was like okay yeah i agree with that i agree with that i agree whoa what <laughs> um yeah i agree with that I burnt. Uh, first question no the camper did not break no it's fine uh we do have a child who's in school so. we're, we're in between trips right now yeah <laughs> we're, there will be more trips we have them planned mm -hmm. um did get burned out I've, I've talked about that a little bit in the past Got burned out on YouTube a little bit and went camping. That and is got accurate. a new camper. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. That, and it was, you know, I mean, we are real people. We live life and uh, interests change and get burned out, try new things, do different things, change direction. You know, like that. That's just what. That's just what's going on now. The thing lost most of your viewers. I don't think so. I don't think we lost most of our viewers, do you? Not on this channel. No, not at all. No. Um, there are some people that probably left and haven't come back yet. There are new people subscribing every day. I'm not I'm not really concerned about that too much. Uh, trying to get some back. Always trying to grow a channel to some extent. That's why you intro yourselves. Yeah, um, really the channel growth wasn't... like even, even when we were doing daily videos, channel growth was a little... A little stagnant um, and one thing I've never done is ask for somebody to subscribe uh, I did it like the first like back in 2016 for a couple of videos and I just got kind of tired of it and um, I never have been really a you know smash that like button kind of guy but I was like you know what it might be maybe if I remind people if they do want to subscribe um, I'll just do a reminder at the beginning and the end usually um just to help the channel grow a little faster maybe so that's why we're doing that 
That's why you will build a following again. We have a following now. I'm like very happy with, very, very, very happy and appreciative of uh, the following we do have. And I'm happy with, I'm happy with where the channel's at. Like as far as views and everything, like I'm, I'm pleased as punch. It could stay just like this, just like it is right now. And I, I would be, I would be good with that. Or it could grow. I'd be great with that. I don't want it to shrink though. <laughs> nope. but yeah i agree with a lot of the stuff you said there but, but no the camper the only question there was the camper uh it did not break it's fine as far as i know yeah i mean we haven't been at it and like, it's been like three three or four weeks yeah this is the longest we've been lately we did go on a lot of trips there we went on a stretch where we went for a bunch yeah during the school year it's not going to be as often you yeah. know so yeah all right what's next Josh Graff has a question. Okay. Are you still running weekly sales? Okay, so um, I put this one in here because uh, this is this is something I planned on doing all year. Uh, I usually do run weekly sales based on how long stuff has been in the store. You know, like if it's, I have a little chart right here, as a matter of fact, that I typically use. Um, I do a tiered sale based on and the percentage off increases based on how uh, how long the thing has been in the store and I've, I've showed that before so I'm not going to go into that too deep but um, there's a video on it I believe yeah at least one video probably more but um, I decided like coming into fourth quarter I was going to stop doing that for a while um, just to see what happened if sales are super strong during fourth quarter, I'm not going to run those sales, except on the makeup. makeup. Yeah. The, the cosmetics, we will, will run the sales on. Those aren't really seasonal type items anyways, and we need to move them. Uh, they do have some kind of shelf life, so we, we need to keep those going. But um, we, my experience in the past with fourth quarter has been that anything that makes a good gift that is priced fairly you know or according to market uh, is going to sell during fourth quarter and i'm sure it's gonna not be any different this year especially with like supply chain issues with stuff and whatnot so um don't really want to run any more sales uh until after the fourth quarter unless we see fourth quarter sales get really sluggish and i'm like what is going on things are not selling like you expected then we'll you know change gears and go ahead and run sales again but yeah kind of pause in sales to see what happens um with the output of the shed it's kind of a tricky thing because as y'all know we the shed is pretty full of inventory right now so we want to sell it but you know we've got a long time till christmas too so I want to see kind of gauge see how what happens. Yeah, yeah, I want to see what happens. Feel it out. I think people are going to start shopping really soon. They they already are. Well, I mean, like really heavy duty shopping. Right. Um, for one thing, you know, with mail service being unpredictable, I think a lot of people are going to shop early. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, and I, that's another thing I'll be looking out for too. This this fourth quarter, uh, kind of gauging. Like I already won't use FedEx. They burned us too bad. Uh, we we use UPS and USPS and right now both of those services are they're they're working really well actually. Yeah, they're on the ball. USPS has been fast even on media mail. Like I I saw something yesterday or no day before yesterday, I shipped out a media mail package and it got there uh, several media mail packages and they got there by Monday. So that's moving fast. But as we get deeper into fourth quarter closer to Christmas, uh, we might see things starting to slow down and gonna be looking at handling times and things like that because you know i don't want to get I, that's always nerve-wracking when people have ordered stuff they're waiting on it as a christmas gift they haven't gotten it and now uh, you're juggling all these different cases of item not received and stuff so uh yeah we'll see where that goes we'll see where that goes with the shipping and we'll see where it goes with um our our order revenue and uh, we'll adjust handling times and sales uh, percentages and whatnot accordingly. So, yep, <sighs> what he said. Yeah. All <laughs> right. We got to get back to work. 
<laughs> yep, I got shampoo to list. Yeah, and I got videos to edit and starting lineups to, to list and stuff. <laughs> so thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, please consider clicking subscribe down below. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day.